territoriorock.com Notas, entrevistas, comentarios, videoblogs, todo esto y mucho más en territoriorock.com Hi there, what's up? We are Slave Steel and you're watching Territory Rock. We're promoting Ogre Cage, uh, our first release, single release, which is the first one in this lineup. And we're here today to answer some questions. I'm done, Bill, Marco, Ricardo, and yeah, this is Slave Steel today. Me and Dan started the project when we were teenagers, uh, around 2007-2008, and um, Daniele was uh, taking the first guitar lessons, uh, and I got fascinated with the drums, uh, and we basically started the band straight away. Uh, then a few friends basically joined the band at the beginning. We were like five playing uh, sort of heavy metal, fresh metal covers, of course, uh, and somehow. Uh, also original songs at the beginning. Um, then a uh, few members left um, and Paolo joined the band. We found Paolo when we were like I believe 19 or 20 already. And um, I, was, <laughs> I was even 23. <laughs> yeah. Masters. So the sound changed completely and it got much heavier. Um, basically what we did uh, during that era was trying to find our own style already. Then Paolo left the band, he moved from Rome to London, he was the first one basically. And uh, we've been a trio for like three or four years, something like that. And we basically ended up recording our first uh, full length album uh, called Entanglement. And then 2014 we moved to London as well. First experience we had in terms of music was the Metal to the Masses. One year after, in 2015, uh, we did exactly the same competition with Paolo in the band and we reached the final as well. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And yeah, basically Paolo rejoined the band, the band and it felt really natural. So we basically restarted growing the project together. And that sounds that we were uh, growing, um, it really fit with Paolo once again. After a couple of years, I met Marco. Uh, he plays bass and he was looking for a drummer for his band. And he called me, I joined the band, I was really happy about it. And suddenly, uh, somehow, uh, he joined the band. So yeah, Marco, like I said for Paolo, uh, he really, he really felt natural as soon as he joined the band. And Absolutely. from there, uh, we basically stopped the other project uh, to, be to be really focused on this one. Life, well, simply always been this one. Uh, we can see ourselves in it. In the very beginning, we wanted to express a stark contrast between two words, two antithetical words, and so we went for slave steel. The steel that does not bend easily, and when it breaks, it's loud. That was the concept. And the slave chains that becomes its weapon. Well, I'd say that this is a very big turning point for us. We had a very long pre-production uh, for this work, uh, but when we got in the studio, 
uh, things were still changing and evolving day by day. Uh, we, we really got to work hard and it was amazing. You know, we're constantly looking for the perfect balance between the song identity and the details, of course. Um, and when you get this, you simply know it. And so we can say that this is our best work so far. Um, it doesn't only show uh, where we are today, but also where we're going, which is essential for us. At that point we had to choose what song was going to be our very first single and we were like, it has to be Ogre Cage. It was the very first songs we played together and musically was all in place, the riff was straightforward. We were like, that's the one, that's, it has to be Ogre Cage. You can now find the official video of Ogre Cage on our YouTube channel and our music on Amazon Music, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. Yeah, basically everywhere, all major platforms, obviously. And of course we are on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We are scheduled to play next on the 17th of April in London at the Unicorn, supporting Crooked Flash and Bell Before Morning. Yep. Yeah, and after that we'll be special guests at the Meta to the Masses Essex in Colchester. While at the beginning of August, uh, we'll play in Bulgaria. Yeah, we'll be in Burgas for oh, the yes. Sea of Black Festival. And at the end of August, we'll be at the Rock and Yazi Festival in uh, Romania. Yeah. yeah. And I'm pretty sure in this big season of releases, we're gonna play many shows yet to come. Yeah. When it comes to our project, we leave nothing to chance. So everything from match, artwork, music has to be perfect. That's right. And I guess that's our good side. About the bad sides, well, they're always around the corner, but we try to leave them off stage. Yeah. We want to thank Gustavo and Territory Rock once again. We are slaves still. See you next time. Woo!